Bună dimineața, mama. În consul în care este pe Am de gare la o plimbare. O? Oh. Vă rog. Bine. Mulțumesc, mama! Nu fi plicat tu oată ziua! Să mă agăm. Încăzel în care e Anca! Si fa si. Bando penatori di uor. Amishagos, Amishagos, 
Guardian. Hanka. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Oh, sorry. I'm Max. I live next door. You must be the new girl. Tabitha. You want help with anything? Sure. After you. Thank you. Yeah. 
This is pretty cool. It's my aunt's. It's Roma. Like, a hundred years old or something like that. Roma? From Romania. Okay. okay. Is that where you're from? Yeah. By way of Pennsylvania. Are you your parents with you? No, it's just me and my aunt. She's upstairs. Nice. Well, thank you for the help, Max. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, what are neighbors for? Oh, hey, listen, I've got some people coming over later. We're just going to get together, hang out, and love for you to come. You're more than welcome. Thanks. I might take you up on that. Perfect. I'd love to see you. Bye, Max. You must be looking for Max. Come on in. Have a seat. I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm Tabitha. I know. Can I get you something to drink? Beer? Or beer? Aren't you a little young to be drinking and or serving beer? Well, I'm mature for my age. Hi, Haley. Hi. I'm Bree. You must be Tabitha. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Grand Lake. Thanks. So, I hear you're from Transylvania? Pennsylvania, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My family's from Romania, which is where Transylvania is. Oh! How cool! Ooh, I like your nails. Thanks, I like yours too. So, are you like a gypsy? No, I can't say that I am. And gypsy's kind of a derogatory term, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Let me guess. Cheerleader, right? Yeah, you should go out for the team. Where's Captain? I might have known. Actually, no. I kind of had you pegged for band. Let me guess. The violin. Okay, dude, go along. Hey, careful! Oh, hey, Tabby. Tabby? Not so much. Oh, hey Mace, what's up? What, you don't invite me to parties anymore? Long day? Ugh, they are. But you're off tomorrow, right? Yeah, thank God. I'm gonna sleep until noon. Seriously, we need to talk about this. I'm sorry, I can get rid of it. You know what? You get busted your senior year, you can kiss all those scholarships goodbye. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work with me, which is nothing to aspire to. I understand. All right, well, this is our new neighbor. This is Tabitha. Tabitha, I'd like you to meet my brother, Mason. Hey. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Micah, is he asleep? Yeah, he's in bed. Good job. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, hustle up. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Good job. Come around again.
I am so sorry. Oh, no, no, it's, it's fine. I swear to God, I wasn't watching you or anything. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's completely all right. Um, Max was nice enough to help us move in yesterday, and he left this in my house. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll give it to him. Tabitha, right? Yeah. Well, I'll just leave that there, I guess. Uh, you could join me if you want. Sure. You play really well. Oh, thanks. So, you're gonna be going to school with Max. That's pretty cool. Max and the cheerleaders. Ah, they're not that bad. I'm sure. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit. Main priority right now is to find a job. Everywhere I look online, nobody's hiring around here. That's because you can't find a job online in this town. You gotta know somebody. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we just got the internet here like a year ago. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is it just you and your aunt out here? Yeah. My parents died when I was two. In a massacre in our village. It's terrible. I'm so sorry. Wrong political party, I guess. Just wasn't safe for our family. Drina, my mother's sister, took me out of the country and moved me to the States. We had family out east and we moved around a little. Here we are. What about you? I haven't seen your parents. Yeah, um, that's because they are gone too. They died in a car accident five years ago. I'm sorry. It was rough, you know. I had to drop out of my junior year of college and take care of everybody and everything. So it's just you, Max, and Mark? And Micah, he's, he's a little one. Barely got to know our parents. You dropped out of school to take care of them? Yeah, they're, they're good kids. Most of the time. It's a lot of responsibility. Tell me about it. Do you think you'll ever go back? You know, I, I, I don't really think about that. It's, it's like a full-time job taking care of these kids. Making sure they don't become serial killers or <laughs> burn the house down. Well, I think it's great that you're taking care of them. You're setting a great example. Thank you, I, I try. Hey, what are you two lovebirds up to? Shut up. We're actually trying to find Tabitha here a job. I was thinking maybe you could take her to Clark and Maggie's? Clark and Maggie's? Yeah. yeah she'd fit right in. What do you mean? Uh, you could say they're... interesting. Do you believe in urban legends? This must be Tabitha. That's right. Hi. This is Tabitha. Tabitha, this is Maggie and Clark. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Tabitha. You know, any friend of Max's is a friend of ours. So, Max says you're looking for employment? Yes, sir, I am. Well, I gotta ask. How's your knowledge on the legend of Sasquatch? Um, <laughs> a little fuzzy, to be honest. It's okay, it's okay. Most people would probably say the same thing. He's like Bigfoot, right? That's exactly right, Tabitha. In fact, most people would be surprised to find that Bigfoot and Sasquatch are the exact same thing. Back in the I worked here last summer because Clark and Maggie are really good friends with my parents. So when they passed away, they just kind of took us in as their own children, treated us like family. I really have no idea what I would do without them. They seem like really nice people. The best. Hey, 
How's it going, guys? Hey, you're looking at the newest employee of the Sasquatch Outpost. Congratulations. Thank you. I knew you could do it. Thank you so much, Max. Yeah, thanks, Max. You're welcome. Sweet kid, really. <laughs> Sweet kid. Seriously. I wasn't sure about the move and the financial pressure and everything going on, so I really appreciate it. You took a huge load off. Hey, what are neighbors for, right? That's what your brother said. There he goes, taking my best lines. <laughs> really, thank you. Oh, it's, it's, it's nothing. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> reaction to Atticus defending an African-American. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Tap Nadolka. I'm in this class. Oh, okay. I see. Um, well, don't worry. You haven't missed a thing. We're just getting started. You can have a seat right over there. Dolka. That's an interesting name. It's Romanian. <laughs> Gypsy. Okay, where were we? Atticus. What was the town's reaction? Well, I'll let you know. You mind if I look around? No, go ahead. Thanks. Ooh, that hat is fabulous. Do you sell those? Do you sell t-shirts? How about like Bigfoot stuffed animals and shit? Have you seen these? So we do sell stuffed animals and shit. That's disgusting. You asked. Might want to lay off the chocolate, though. Could make it tough for you to fit into that little cheerleading outfit. We're just gonna browse for good, okay? Ooh, see? Postcards. Nope. Nope. No. Let her clean it up. She works here. Sorry. Just got home. Mason, it's your girlfriend. Hey, it was actually just. Hey, uh, how you doing? You don't look so happy to see me. Blair, I, I know what you're gonna say, but it, but it isn't that. It's the, Mason, a... please just hear me out. Like, I know things have been kind of tense lately, and it's partially my fault, but I don't know, maybe it's time to take things to the next level. Okay, there, there is no next level. Okay, we're from two completely different worlds. You're still in high school. I mean, what, am I, am I gonna go to homecoming with you? You, you should be going with the captain of the football team. But you were the captain of the football team. Yeah, yeah, I was, past tense. I had my whole future laid out, and, and some things changed. But you? You're gonna go to college. You're gonna have fun. I don't want you making a decision that you're gonna regret the rest of your life. But Mason, we can make it work. No, I, I really don't think we can. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. We're not even dating. We're not even dating.
five, six, seven, eight. Touchdown, touchdown, do it again. We're on the line one more time. The Grizzlies bring it on in. Damn it, Bree. Sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. You want to be a part of the squad? You get it together and fast. All right, you know what? I think we all just need a little bit of a break. I'm going to get some water. Do you want anything? Actually, I'm in the mood for some chocolate. Thank you. Do you need a bag for that? I'm good, thanks. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Hey there. Back for some postcards? Cute, but no. Actually, I'm here to apologize. Oh? I think we got off on the wrong foot. Really? Look, am I thrilled about you hanging out with Mason? No, I'm not. But there's nothing I can do about it. He's not my property. And it's not your fault. Wow. I totally wasn't expecting that. Well, now that we got that settled, what time do you get off? In about an hour? Why? The girls and I are going out to the lake for a swim. It's kind of like our annual tradition. We do it every year. After all the tourists leave, we have the entire place to ourselves. Won't it be dark soon? Yeah, but that's what makes it fun. I don't know. Come on, don't be a party pooper. What the hell? Why not? Great. See you soon. There she is. Hey. You ready? Oh, we're going right now? Yeah. I didn't bring a swimsuit. Neither did we. Come on, let's go. Okay. Tabitha. What? Are you sure this is cool? Of course. We do this every year. Right, Haley? Yeah. Hey, um, Bree, Tiff, can you guys grab the cooler? I'll be back in just a second. Come on. I love it out here. It's 
so peaceful. Oh, Haley, can you come here for a second? Hold on, I'll be right back. What she look like? I don't know, man. How am I supposed to know this? You think that's her? I don't know, man. What do you think? I think that's her. Yeah. Hey! Who's there? You Tabitha? Yes? It's a pretty name. Shit, man. She's naked. Huh? Hey! I need help. Yeah, hey, I can help you, sweetheart. Please, can you help me? Well, yes. See me and Charlie here? We're the welcome wagon. Mm -hmm. So, why don't you just relax? What are you doing? <laughs> well, we're gonna have us a good time, okay? Stop it. Hey! I said no. stop it! Ah! Hey, where do you think you're going? All right. Hey! You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Off me! Charlie! Hey, hold her! Charlie, you hold it. her down! I got it. I got it. Yeah! You're gonna calm down. Oh yeah? Ah! Hey! God damn! Bitch! Are you gonna calm down? Huh? Okay, you stop that. You hear me? Are you gonna calm down? Huh? What? Hey! Yeah? That's right. Just calm down. What? You done? What? Huh? She dead? Oh, come on. Charlie? God damn it, you get back here! I've gotten early practice. Do not be late for school. And uh, don't forget to take out the trash. Oh, you, you scared me. Janice Kai Chai? I'm, I'm sorry. Janice Kai Tabita? I know you know. Tabitha? I, I don't know. Oh my adoptu! Oh my adoptu! What? Oh my adoptu! Morigi Dori! 
Tommy Shackle Detlane, a Mulan Shavule. Ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry. You will be. Hey. Hey. Did Tabitha stop by today? Hmm. Something really weird is going on in their house, Max. You guys seen Tabitha? She's in my first period English class, but she wasn't there today. I had the weirdest dream last night. I had a dream that I was sleeping, which was weird enough in itself, but she was there. She was standing in the doorway just watching me. Who was watching you? Have you seen Tabitha? <laughs> I didn't know it was my day to watch her. Guys, I had the same dream. You had a dream about Tabitha too. No, not a dream. I had the same dream. Oh my god. I had it too. You guys are just so ridiculous. Stop being paranoid. Well, where is she? What happened to her? I think she's dead. Tiffany. Blair. What you did? What I did? What do you mean? You mean, like, what we did? What? You were there too, Bree. If you didn't like what was going on, you could have said something about it. I can't start whining about it now. I think we should do something. Like what? I don't know. Tell someone. Who? The police? Blair, Tiffany's right. We have to do something. Have you all lost your minds? Look, what's done is done. There's nothing we can do about it now. And maybe you guys want to spend the next 25 years in a jail cell with some bull dyke thinking she's your husband? Well, I, for one, have a brighter future than that. So, you guys all just need to keep your big mouth shut. Do you understand?
okay. Yeah, sorry. You guys look like the freaking Glee Club. I had the same dream again last night. So did I, only she came closer. Are you gonna tell us you're not having these dreams? Just stop freaking out and calm down because that's all they are, they're dreams. What if she gets even closer? What if she reaches us? Can she kill us? If we die in a dream, doesn't that mean that we die in real life? That's the matrix, you idiot. I can't believe you guys. Blair. There's no way that she could. Blair! I think she can kill us. <sighs> Jesus, Haley. Was it her? I thought it was just another dream. She was on top of me, choking me. But the bruises were there when I woke up. She was wet and cold, and her eyes, they were like ice, but burning. And you still think that we're just being paranoid? We need to do something. We need to tell someone. But who? I think I know who. Welcome to Grady's Conoco. How can I help you? 20 on pump two. You're all set, buddy. I right, thank you. Oh, welcome Hi. to Grady's Conoco. How can I help you? I would like to buy these if you don't mind. All right, you need a bag? No, thank you, though. Okay. You have a wonderful day. You too, thank you. Welcome to Grady's Conoco. How can I help you? You look a little tired, Wyatt. Sleeping well? When I can, yeah. I mean, I try to get in a little catnap every now and then. Boss man sort of frowns on that kind of behavior. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about your dreams. Dreams? Yeah. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I reckon I dreamed about driving the NASCAR. Oh, you idiot. Have you seen Tabitha? Awake? No, can't say that I have. But you know what? You do see her. Go ahead and apologize for me. Apologize? Apologize? What do you, apologize for what? What the hell happened? Calm down, you're gonna get me in trouble. You're already in trouble, you ass! What the hell happened up there? Where's Charlie? about keeping the goddamn gate open. God, the dog's probably halfway across the county by now. <sighs> Roscoe! <laughs> there you are, boy. Good. Stay. Good boy. God damn it! Oh, God. God damn it, Jesus! Goddamn toys! What are you trying to kill me? Oh, Kids. Damn kids. Totally over the fucking point. I'm gonna get a dissecting after this, I swear to God. Mmm. 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 That's the sweet stuff, right?
Gotta be fucking kidding me. God damn it! Son of a bitch. Who is it? What, is that you? Roscoe. God, son of a bitch. Fuck it. Hello? Hey man, you don't want to mess with me. I, I, I got a Bushmaster XM rifle, number 15. Go ahead and show your face so I can demonstrate it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Come on, CJ, you hungry? You want some waffles? You bacon. want some bacon? Yes, sir. You like bacon? Yeah. Too bad. Don't think we have any. Um, we have eggs. This is gonna have to do. Charlie? Rachel, I know this is a very difficult time for you, but uh, me and the uh, deputy here do have some questions we need answers to. Uh, do you know if Charlie had any enemies? Enemies? <laughs> Not really. Okay, uh, was he recently in an altercation? Well, I guess he must have pissed off just about everyone in town at some point or another, but recently, I don't think so. Okay, uh, was Charlie a good swimmer? Was he a good swimmer? He didn't uh, drown in a foot of water. Maybe not. Not good swimmer. Okay, yeah, that's it for now. If you think of anything else, please 
let us know. Oh, and uh, don't leave town. Where would I go? What do you make of it, Sheriff? Well, it's pretty obvious, except the little lady inside is probably a little too embarrassed to talk about it. What do you think happened? You see the bruises on the neck? That's a clear-cut case of autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah, the guy was probably into some real dirty stuff. Him and the wife were, uh, you know, doing the sexiness inside. And then they decided to move it out back, you know, as to not wake up the children. Okay? That's when the real kinky stuff started happening. Weird stuff. Crazy sex stuff. All that weird sex stuff. The guy ends up with two lungs full of h 2 o Well, at least he died doing what he loved. What about the skateboard, Sheriff? Sex on a skateboard? I've tried it. Was not a fan. I'm top heavy, so. Well, great job, Deputy. It looks like you solved the case. Thanks, Sheriff. Let's go get a cup of coffee and maybe a donut. I'd like that. You're treating. Hey. Hey, do you know where Mason is? Yeah, he's at work. Why? You need to see this. Dude, I gotta go. Hurry up. It'll only take a second. Okay, what? You see this? Yeah. Janice Kaita Pita, I know you know. Tabitha, no, I don't know. No, oh, she's screaming at me in Russian. Romanian. I didn't know you spoke Romanian. I looked it up. She's cursing you. You had to look that up? Yeah, watch. Mulengi Dori. The dead man's string, or the ribbon. You know what that is? It's ceremonial. Gypsies use it in ancient rituals. Do you know what for? to communicate with the dead spirits. Watch this. Hamishagos Detlane. To disturb the spirit of a dead child. Do you know what's happening? Mark, will you do something for me? Yeah? Can you go outside or something? Ride your bike? Go on a walk? You have to take this seriously! Yeah, seriously? You need to get off that thing. You've spent way too much time on it. Hey, Max. Hey, Clark. Have you seen Tabitha anywhere? I was going to ask you the same thing. Not since the day before yesterday. She left at the end of her shift with some friends. What friends? A group of cheerleaders from the high school. Okay. So they were heading up to the lake. Hmm. I'm a little worried about her. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Taking out the trash. Enjoy your cigarette, okay?
You all right in there? the winter moon. What's wrong, babe? I've been thinking, James. I don't think we can make this work. It's because I'm a vampire, isn't it? It's not me, it's my parents. They'd never understand. Who cares what they think? Tiffany! It only matters what you think. What, Mom? It's you and me, babe. Did you take you out the trash? The world. Oh, shit, I forgot. I will in a minute. It's getting really dark. I really forgot. Can't I just take it out in the morning? Tonight, young lady! All right! Will you come with me? Why? Because it's really dark and everything that's been going on. What's gonna be out there tonight that's not out there during the day? I don't know, I'm really scared. Seriously? Please, Colin. Let's go for it. Who's yeah, such a baby? <laughs> Asshole. But it's the sun. My bracelet will protect me. Second down and nine. Ew. Just over nine minutes to go in the quarter, and they need to score on... But won't you burn up? My heart's already burning. Burning. Yeah. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No. You want a soda? Yeah, that'd be great. Let's give me one, too. <sighs> Looking for the blitz that he knows is coming. Hey babe, how we come with that soda?
This guy was riding a moped through an intersection when he got hit and killed by a taxi. And exactly one year later, the dead guy's brother was riding the same moped through the same intersection and got hit and killed by the same taxi with the same driver carrying the same passenger. It's fascinating, Dustin. What's your point? My point is, coincidences happen. I just think you guys are being paranoid. Really? So you think all of us being haunted by the same missing girl is a coincidence? Guys, that was, that was Colin. Tiffany's dead. What? We need to go to the police. And tell them what exactly? Officer, we're being haunted by the spirit of a dead girl. Won't you please arrest her? We don't know she's dead. But you do know what happened to her. Guys, I have something to show you. Oh, great. Seriously, I did some more research. Drina's from a tiny remote village in Romania. Who's Drina? Tabitha's aunt. She put a curse on Max. She, she what? what? The village is over a thousand years old. Legend has it, they practice all kinds of weird ceremonies and rituals, try and communicate to the dead, and bring them back. Mark? It's true. They would need something from the dead person. What, like a piece of clothing or something? No, literally something from them. Like a tooth or a piece of skin. That's disgusting. How come nobody knows about this stuff? They were very secretive about it. it. Their stories eventually made it out into the world. They believed if one of their people met an untimely death, that the soul could be brought back to torment those who were responsible for the death. Oh my god. Can this really be happening? The day before yesterday, when I came home from school, I looked out the window and... I swear I saw Tabitha. You saw her? I saw... something. So, what do we do? Well, again, they're really secretive. The spirit only comes when the victim's alone, so it's best if we stay together. Haley, I know your brother's at school, so you can stay here if you want. It'll be safer. I have a dog. I'll be fine. Blair? What happened at the lake? Jesus, Muffin, you idiot! What's wrong, girl? What's wrong?
Touchdown, touchdown, do it again. We're on the line one more time. Grizzlies bring it. Damn it. You okay? Yeah, I just can't focus. Can't blame you. I think I'm gonna go take a shower. You know, the kid said you shouldn't be alone. Maybe I could. Come with you? Yeah, right. Seriously, though. Thanks for coming. No problem. Hey, dude, what's up? Dude, listen. Haley's dead. What? What happened? She drowned in her bed. What the hell? We're headed over there now. Where's Bree? Oh, shit. The sheriff's inside with Haley's mom. So what happened? They said a waterbed sprung a leak, something like that. Some kind of freak accident. Freak accident, my ass. It was Tabitha. Was Haley involved in any sort of unusual activities? No, not at all. <sighs> How about any unusual sexual activities? What? You did what? I'm sorry. I was just upset. It was just supposed to be a joke. A joke? Yeah. To get back at her for Mason. I didn't think she'd actually get hurt. Who knew what those two freaks could have done to her? I'm sorry. You've got to figure out what happened. Where's Mark? Well, now, me and Charlie didn't mean to hurt her none. We was just, you know, gonna have a little fun. Yeah, a little fun. Wyatt, what happened? Well, she was high or something. I don't know. We started fooling around, and, well, I guess things got a little rough. You son of a bitch. Max! God damn it, Wyatt! What happened? We started wrestling around a bit, and there was a scuffle. What did you do to her? Wyatt, is she alive? Well, she, she wasn't moving none. You just left her there. I'm sorry, yeah. You son of a bitch. Wyatt, the only way to fix this is to give Tabitha the proper burial. What? You're coming with us. Hell no, I ain't. It's either that or we call the sheriff. Maybe you'd like that better. Maybe I would. You wanna end up like Charlie? Cause I don't. You did this, Wyatt, and you're gonna fix it. Get in the car. Meshagos Tetlane. Meshagos Tetlane. Come on, Haley.
So this is where we found her. Then we struggled there. We left her here. So then where is she? Well, I don't know. We have to find her. What the hell was that? That was her. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, no. Oh god, no. <gasps> Tabitha. Tabitha. It's Max. Look. What Blair did was wrong. It was horrible. But she never meant for you to die. Please don't do this, Tabitha. It's not you. Oh no. No! No, not! Now you stay away from me, you dead bitch!